Hello, welcome to Yoga Rocks Box. This is Josie Sykes who's been teaching us for us this week. Every time I do an interview I say, oh, we've had a great week. But this week we have had a great week. <laughs> it's been great. Uh, look, we're just going to talk a little bit about, about yoga and what Josie's been doing this week. So what I was going to ask you is, so um, we, in, here we kind of talk about something called the sparkling essence of yoga, which we hope kind of runs through all the retreats connecting all the yoga and different forms and, and techniques. And this week you've been doing asana, asana, pranayama, and a bit of meditation and chanting. So how do you feel they're all connected and how are they all yoga? Well, they're all just revealing our, uh, our beautiful, golden, shining essence. All of them, all of the practices of yoga and um, whether one of the practices kind of resonates a lot more for you than another. They're all about the same thing, which is just getting rid of all the nonsense, all the layers of nonsense that, that take us away from, uh, from this beautiful, uh, sparkly, interconnected <laughs> wonder of life. Yeah. And, and it's been a nice week and everyone enjoyed it. I had a great time. <laughs> smiling or crying, so yes, that's in, a, in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> and you also do, uh, you also do Feldenkrais. Yeah, Feldenkrais, yeah. Feldenkrais. 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 So Feldenkrais, and, and what yeah. is it and how, how does that kind of connect to the whole thing? Um, Feldenkrais is really a um, movement practice. On the surface it seems to be about movement, but it really reaches kind of within us as well. And even though um, spirit is not really discussed very much in, within the Feldenkrais method, for me it's also really um, draws us in and, and lets us listen. And for me, both yoga practice and the Feldenkrais practice is about deep listening and, and stilling and quieting and until yeah, until we give ourselves the chance to, to listen, really just to listen deeply, then, then we tend to just kind of brush around through life. So in, in the way that, that, that Feldenkrais uses breath and body, and, and some of the yoga practices are about breath and body, for me they both kind of have this, this, this depth, which maybe initially with both of the practices, that's not what you're kind of showing up for, but inevitably you're led further and further in yeah, to the sparkle. <laughs> and you uh, teach and, and manage Spaha Yoga in Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I really felt that, because I've been practicing there a long time now, I don't get much chance, but I really felt that the feeling of spa I was here this week when I went to class, it was beautiful. I don't know what it is, but so what, what, Spa is a great place, got some fantastic, fantastic teachers, like mm -hmm. our teachers. So what, what makes it such a great place, do you think? Well, it's Patrick and Guster and yoga. <laughs> you know, Patrick and Guster are the most incredible teachers. And um, I think, you know, what makes Swaha very special is the bhakti juice shining through there and also the fact that Patrick is so absolutely dedicated to students, you know, so every kind of everything is about is about the students at Swaha. It's you know, it's not about kind of um, no, not about anything else but students and, and kind of nurturing students to be their true selves and, and it's really the heart and soul of Swaha. So if you get the chance to go to Amsterdam, Swaha Yoga, the delicious Swaha feeling. Um, and otherwise we can bring you. Yeah, and otherwise we can bring you. All right, so that's that's it from Yoga Rocks Box today. Yeah, we hope that Josie will come back another time and oh, we can have some more so juicy Josiness. <laughs> <laughs>